Ah, uh, that girl. She used to be the kind of person who could easily be swayed with some fried tofu. It's a relief to see how shrewd and resourceful she's now become. Still, I have to admit that I was a little upset to become the target of her scheming myself. <laughs> I know it was for my own good, but I'm afraid she will mock me the next time we meet. Perhaps I should take the initiative and strike her first. Hmm, she'll dodge it anyway. Guji-Ai's actions often leave me with many questions. Nevertheless, the fact that she is the head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine clearly shows the level of trust and approval that the Shogun places in her, and for this reason, I also greatly respect her. But, if there ever comes a day when she disobeys the Shogun's will, then please, accept my apologies in advance. I've always greatly enjoyed working with Guji-Ai. Organizing festival affairs generally takes a lot of effort and doesn't generate much income, but Kuji Yai's events always come off both elegant and profitable. Lady Miko? Uh, what about her? <sighs> Every time Miss Kamisato sends me out to deliver messages, my least favorite destination is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh, uh, not because Lady Miko scares the bejeebers out of me, it's, uh, respect! Yes, she strikes respect deep into my heart. <laughs> <sighs> She's always patting me on the head. I've never bitten her, though, or even said anything, because I'm frightened of how she'd react if I stood up to her. But what am I gonna do? Because if she keeps on patting my head, I'm gonna get stuck at this height forever! Ayaka once asked me during a ritual at the shrine if I could prepare some fireworks for the Lady Guji's leisure. I thought to myself, isn't the Lady Guji supposed to sit inside the shrine throughout the ritual? So I watched her the whole time during the ritual, wondering how she'd like to release fireworks. I waited, and I waited, and then Ayaka came over at length to tell me that the Lady Guji was most pleased. I mean, what? She'd already released the fireworks? Was the person sitting inside the shrine not her then? I crushed that Kitsune ramen eating contest we had. Even all that fried tofu couldn't stand in my way. <laughs> she didn't come close to beating me. I was uh, bedridden for more than a month after that. But you know what? I'd rather lie in bed a winner than walk away a loser. So, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I had the last laugh, because she had to foot the bill for 32 bowls of noodles! Ha ha! I have also heard of Guji Yai's great deeds. In all fairness, I hold her to be an outstanding shrine maiden, and she has performed her duties marvelously. I even heard that she holds responsibility where Yai Publishing House's light novels are concerned. An enigmatic individual, to say the least. Oh! Her. Uh, I'd prefer not to talk about her. Can we change the topic? Or if there are any tasks I can take off your hand, I'll gladly oblige. Anything at all. <clears throat> Let's just say it'd be best for my general well-being if we can avoid talking about her. <laughs> I only wish I could have met Ayato sooner. You really taught me something. You can kindle the warrior spirit even in the weakest of bugs. Yep. I really took that one to heart. Yeah, if it weren't for those words of wisdom, I'm pretty sure I would have given up beetle fighting after losing for the 780th time. <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes it takes a warrior to understand a warrior. When we're playing trading card games or battling beetles, we're always totally on the same wavelength. As the head of the Kamisato clan, Brother always has a full schedule of places he needs to be. I do try my best to share his load, but there is no changing the pressure he is subjected to all year round, and the toll it takes upon him. <sighs> if you see him, remind him to take care of himself for his sister's sake. As the head of the Kamisato clan, he's in a tough position. With all the political upheaval, he has to contend with public disquiet on one hand, and a bunch of self-serving degenerate public officials on the other. It's best not to dwell on it. All I can do is make sure to look out for him when he's at home. Sometimes, when I'm taking a rest up in a tree, I overhear the Shrine Maidens talking about him. Sounds like he's pretty important and super busy most of the time. 
I don't get it though. <sighs> it's only work or whatever. So why doesn't he just not do it? Kamisato. One of the most distinguished clans in all of Inazuma. Despite Ayato's trickery in regard to the Tri Commission's affairs, he is nevertheless a loyal subject. His past misdeeds shall be excused. <laughs>